What is going on guys? So today I got a video showing you how to invite users to your Cloud9 environment. So one of the main strengths of Cloud9 is that it's an IDE that is allowed to be used by multiple people at the same time. And it's something that was bought by AWS. It used to be its own service, but AWS took it. And now you have to kind of play with some IAM uh, groups and user roles with permissions to allow users to have access to this environment now. So you may think it's like simple, like you can go up here, you click share, um, but you need to have um, users that have an I I IAM username. So um, basically that means you have to set up an existing user with permissions, invite somebody to that account, and then they can use that to access your Cloud9 environment. So you don't really have an existing IAM user set up, you can't do this yet, and I'll show you how to do that first. So let's just close this for now. Um, let's go back into our AWS console, and then you just want to type in IAM here in the top left. <clears throat> so this is the one that manages accesses to AWS resources. And um, we have user groups, so I can create a new group here, and let's do... Um, cloud nine access okay and then you can add users that exist like that you've already created but let's say you don't have any so you don't worry about that yet you want to add some permissions the cloud nine administrator permission is probably the best one to add here now let's just type in cloud nine hit enter and here are the permissions that you can add. AWS Cloud9 Administrator gives you basically these two combined plus extra permissions. So just use that one. Let's them have admin access to the environment. Up to you if you want to change that, but I'm going to create the group now. So Cloud9 access has been created. And now I want to create a user and invite my friend to that user account so that they can use this Cloud9 environment. So add users. Um, give them a username um, so we can just say like test account enable console access sure uh, users to yeah give them a you can give them a custom password if you want here I'll just do like okay um, and then users must create a new password at next sign in yes uh, but you can just leave that selected and then we can go next Oh my god, okay. Okay, now I can add the user to a group, um, and that gives that the group's permissions. So this group has Cloud9 Administrator permissions, so this will give it Cloud9 Administrator permissions to the user that's added to it. So we can click Next here, um, and then we can review and create. This is fine. Create the user. And this is an important step here. So you can click email sign in instructions. So just click this. It's going to open your um, email app on your computer. And this is basically where I'm just going to remove my email here. Or I can't. I'll blur that out. But um, you just type in some extra stuff if you want into this email. Um, but here is sign in instructions into the AWS account and this is the username and you can give them the password separately like over a message or text or whatever you want and that allows them to log into this account that you've created for them so now that they can do that and you have an IAM user set up for them I'm gonna close this because you guys can figure that out you can send that email out um, we're gonna go back to our cloud9 environment so now um, what was this uh, return to users list? Oh yeah, see, it wants you, it wants to make sure you know its password. That's the password. Great. <laughs> okay, return to users list. This is the username. So I'm gonna copy that, and then I'm gonna go back into Cloud9, and I'm gonna click share, and now I can add that IAM user I've already created. Test account, invite, allow rewrite access to your environment. Yes, allow that. Don't show me this notification to get him okay. And just like that, this account now has read write access to this Cloud9 environment and can make modifications. And they could, they could do it at the same time as you. So that's what's cool about it. So that's how you invite users. Um, hopefully, you found this video helpful. 
If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.